Hi, everybody. Dennis Prager here. There's a piece in USA Today signed by a number of attorneys general. That's the plural of attorney general, not attorney generals. In various states, Donald Trump's national emergency declaration is constitutional. One of the authors of that piece is the attorney general of the state of Indiana, Curtis Hill. Attorney General Hill, thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you for having me. Okay, so why don't you let uh, my listeners around the country understand the point that you're making? Well, the point is this. The President of the United States has the authority to declare a national emergency, and much of what's occurring is really a, a misunderstanding of the application of his power. The President is not exercising executive authority that he has under the Constitution to move on his own. He's actually adhering to a congressional action. In 1976, Congress enacted legislation that authorized the President of the United States to declare a national emergency. And within that particular legislation, the discretion was completely up to the president as to what would constitute the national emergency. So much of what's occurring today in the debate about whether or not he had constitutional authority uh, seems to miss the boat and suggest that he was acting in his executive authority uh, when, in, in, in fact, he was uh, acting on the legislation that was created by Congress to uh, declare an emergency, and thus it's a proper emergency to declare. Right. My position is that there is, if it's, it's not a state of emergency, de facto, forgetting the jury for a moment, if it is not a de facto state of emergency at our southern border, then there's no such thing as an emergency. My my only uh, hesitation is uh, not, not in regard to whether there is an emergency, not uh -huh. with regard to what you just uh, very effectively answered he has the right to my my only concern is is there any limit to what any president can then do based on the 1976 congressional authorization well great question because the 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 authorization doesn't seem to place a restriction on the president there's no definition as to what what constitutes an emergency no definition as to um, what he has to do in terms of the declaration if you go back to uh, 1976 every president since 1976 has exercised a, a, an emergency under the nea in fact if you look at the, the the rationale for those emergencies most of them had much less to do with securing this particular country as this particular action. Going back to the Iranian hostage crisis, for example, an emergency was issued in 1979 and has been renewed every year since that time, notwithstanding that the, that the hostages were released back in 1981. So that gives you an example of how absurd some of these emergencies might appear to common folk. Um, so this is, in terms of whether or not the president has the authority, he absolutely has the authority. I agree. Whether okay. It's restricted, whether it's restricted or not is up to Congress. And so if Congress is, determines that the restriction is, is uh, that there's not enough restriction, well, they've got the responsibility to take the action mm -hmm. back and retool it. So just for, just for my own understanding, if a Democrat mm -hmm. were president and said, we have a national emergency because of gun violence. Uh, I will confiscate, uh, I will see to it that all semi-automatic weapons are confiscated. Would, would, that, would that be legal? Well, the, the declaration of the emergency is one thing. Um, what happens there, thereafter is another. In this particular instance, President Trump has declared an emergency being on the southern border, and some can debate that and whether that's the case or well, not. As I said, but I accept also, the fact that there is. Okay. I just right. want to know. Um, yeah, but, go on. All right. But his, by, by virtue of his declaration, he then uh, is required to take other actions. And so the actions that he's taken are to uh, uh, notify the Pentagon um, of military construction options, things of that nature, in furtherance of that emergency situation. What you've described, certainly the president can declare an emergency within his own discretion, but then the, the carrying out or the functioning thereafter 
uh, has to be within constitutional keeping in that sense. So for the president to declare uh, that uh, there's a uh, uh, believes there's a problem with guns or an issue with guns. I see. That, no, I see. And then taking, then taking a further step is the action uh, okay. taking furtherance of that constitutional. All right. You have been absolutely <laughs> as clear a guest as one could wish for. Attorney thank General, you, thank you. Attorney General, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Dennis. Take care. Take care. Attorney General of Indiana, Curtis Hill. Anna, Curtis.